Hello everyone, I am Kaushik and in this video I will be continuing the topic on Sekosi mainly explaining the sequence diagram of Sekosi in the simplest way possible. Before jumping to that, I would like to inform you all that I have a playlist created with all the Autosa related topics here. And uh, before continuing with the video, please watch this video on a uh, very good introduction on Sekosi. So let's see how does the sequence of message flow from application layer to the lower layer in the PSW looks like when uh, we consider Sekosi. Let me make this clear that in this video, I am going to explain the transmit flow of data in any particular issue. The receive flow is similar in other way around. Let's start from application layer. When, R, when a RT write function is called from software component, it reaches the RT layer. Then the RT calls the COM send signal function. At COM, we have two type of communication for PDU processing. One is deferred processing and another is immediate processing. In deferred processing, the raw data received at COM is copied to a buffer and it is processed at the next COM main function call. Whereas, in immediate processing, the data will be immediately processed with priority and it doesn't wait for the next COM main function call. Here in the sequence diagram, I have shown the deferred use case. So, the, uh, at the next COM main function, PDR COM transmit is called. At PDR, the PDU is routed to Sekosi by calling Sekosi transmit function. Similar to COM, Sekosi also has deferred and immediate PDU processing. So, considering the deferred processing, the PDU received is stored in buffer and is processed at next Sekosi main function call. At Sekosi, Initially, Sekosi will fetch the freshness value using this function. Fetching the freshness value is through a client-server communication interface where the client is Sekosi module requesting for, for freshness from the server which is from the software component in this case. But the server implementation can also be done in a CDD module that is the complex device driver module. After fetching the freshness value, Sekosi authenticate function is called wherein the control goes to the CSM module by calling CSM Mac generate function. CSM then takes the help of cryif to communicate with crypto module. Crypto module fetches the respective key which is needed for Mac generation which is obtained by calling crypto Mac generation function. This is the end of Sekosi flow and the control goes back to PDUR by calling the PDUR Sekosi transmit function. After this, the usual procedure where PDUR calls CANIF transmit and then CANIF go, does the further processing to transmit on the canvas. The whole process of Sekosi from fetching the freshness value, the key and generating the MAC and then transferring the complete PDU is carried out in the Sekosi main function. That's all for this video. Let me know if there are any query on this topic in the comment section. I would love to answer those. Don't forget to hit a like button and also subscribe to my channel to be up to date with the upcoming videos on some other topic of automotive embedded system. Bye for now.